hello everyone. My name is Sandy Petrie and I'm with Mutual of Omaha. Kathy Elkins is on the line with us as well. She's from Premier Senior Marketing. Uh, today what I'm going to talk about is uh, just two of our simplified issue products that I think will fit the majority of your clients' needs. Now keep in mind we have other products that are available um, but chose to discuss these two um, because of their relevance to your marketplace. So the two products that I'm going to be talking about are Term Life Express and GUL Express. But first of all, why should you do business with Mutual of Omaha? Well, the top five reasons are brand recognition, of course. As you know, Mutual of Omaha has been around for over 100 years. And we have a dedicated team um, that is there for you throughout the application process and a competitive simplified issue product portfolio. That portfolio includes Term Life Express, GUL Express, Children's Whole Life, also a final expense plan and an accidental death plan, as well as a full, fully underwritten portfolio as well. These applications are fast and the underwriting is very simple and it's also very simple to quote and very easy to use our application tools. Brand recognition, I spoke of just a little bit about that, but the nice thing about Mutual of Omaha's brand is the majority of your customers know who we are, so you don't have to explain who Mutual of Omaha is. They remember Wild Kingdom or they've seen our golfers. So they know that we're a trusted brand that's been around for a very long time. Our industry ratings, um, they definitely show how strong and secure Mutual of Omaha is. The three major industry ratings give us very high scores for our financial strength. And we have dedicated team, that is the sales support, underwriting, and also e-app support, as well as the support that you can get from Premier Senior Marketing and Kathy Elkins' team. The Simplified Issue Portfolio, as I mentioned, covers Term Life Express, GUL Express, Living Promise, Children's Full Life, and the Guaranteed Advantage. The nice thing about the Simplified Issue Portfolio is there's no blood draw, there's no paramed exam, no urine sample, and it's quick issue, which means you get paid faster. Now the simplified underwriting, all that does is take a look at the application. Um, we get an MIB and a farm check, and that's what we pharmacy check, and that's what we use to underwrite uh, these particular policies. So let's jump right into Term Life Express. Um, Term Life Express, it's simplified issue, face amount start at 250,000 goes all the way up to 300,000 for ages 18 to 50, up to 250,000 for the older ages, so 51 to 60, and then 61 to 70 years old, they can get up to 150,000 in coverage. It's available for a 10, 15, 20, or 30 year term product, and it has a return of premium if the clients want it. And that's available on the 20 and the 30 year product. So let's dig down just a little bit deeper into some of the underwriting. Um, there's different criteria for the different ages, but it's pretty much the same all the way across. So we look at a build chart. Um, it's very liberal, it's a unisex chart. We get a Medical Information Bureau report, um, a pharmacy check, motor vehicle report on those younger ages, so 18 to 35. Uh, for ages 36 to 50, it just depends on if needed. Um, if we see something in the underwriting, we might order a motor vehicle report for that age group. Um, there could be a phone interview, it's just as needed. A lot of times with the phone interview, they will initiate that if they need clarification on the application. Maybe what we're seeing on the pharmacy check or MIB is not matching up to what's on the application. So we'll initiate a call from the home office to that client to try to get to an underwriting decision. Now, if the face amount is 250,000 and above, um, there will be a mandatory phone interview. Now for the ages 51 to 60, um, as you can see, uh, 
there's not a mandatory motor vehicle uh, report, we'll just get that as needed. And then for the older ages, 61 to 70, um, again, they're going to be a lab history check. So just a little bit more underwriting, but again, it's everything that's initiated from the home office. So you don't have to worry about doing any of that. Our underwriters will take care of all of that for you. Now, there are some riders that can be added to this policy if your client would like them. Um, the disability income, oh, disability waiver of premium, an accidental death, that just doubles the death benefit, and a dependent child rider. The best thing about this policy is the no-cost riders that are built into the policy at no additional cost. Um, there's some living benefit riders um, term, for terminal, uh, chronic, and critical illness. There's an accelerated death benefit for terminal illness, residential damage, waiver of premium, so if their home sustains $25,000 or more in damage, we'll waive their premium for six months. There's a waiver of premium for unemployment. So if they become unemployed, meaning they're collecting their state unemployment benefits, we'll also waive their premium for six months. And then a common carrier death benefit provision. Again, if they should pass away due to a common carrier accident, so that would be a plane, a train, um, a bus, that type of thing, it's going to double their death benefit. So with the return of premium, um, if they have the return of premium, they do get the accelerated death benefit rider for terminal illness. Um, if they do not have the return of premium on their policy, they will also get the chronic illness rider, terminal illness rider, and the critical illness rider. So with these uh, living benefits, what happens is a chronic illness, so if they are unable to perform two of the six activities of daily living, or they have a severe cognitive impairment, they can accelerate up to 80% of their death benefit, and it's going to be paid directly to them, and they can use that money for whatever they want to use it for. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in some upcoming slides. On the terminal illness, if they have a life expectancy of 12 months or less, um, they can accelerate out of their policy and receive that death benefit while they're still living. The critical illness part of it, that provides an accelerated death benefit if the insured has ALS, kidney failure, life-threatening cancer, major organ failure, heart attack, or stroke. And we just added some additional critical illnesses as well, such as major burns, aortic uh, surgery, that type of thing. So things to remember with the living benefit riders, uh, they've been approved in all states except for California. Um, the requested amount, it can't exceed 80% of the policy space amount. And the premium amount paid after the acceleration is adjusted and uh, based on a reduced space amount. So uh, that's what we call the actuarial charge for accelerating. And again, I'll explain a little bit more about that. They can accelerate multiple times for the chronic and the critical illness. And they must pay attention to the IRS per diem cap. Now this changes each year. It's just a IRS rule as far as how much they can accelerate out of their policy uh, without incurring tax consequences. So that's why we limit the cap uh, per acceleration to their IRS per diem. So what happens if they do use the accelerated rider? So I mentioned there's an actuarial discount. So it's a charge for accelerating. And then there's a $100 admin fee. So think about it like this. They're not paying for this rider up front. If they do use the rider, then we're going, there will be a charge on the back end. Now for the terminal illness, the dis discount factor is just an interest rate discount. For the critical illness and the chronic illness rider, the discount rate is um, the interest rate discount. And then it, that's, we also take into account the life expectancy. Okay, so let me give you an example. 
So uh, five years after purchasing a 100,000 term life express non-return of premium policy, John was diagnosed with lung cancer. So he wants to accelerate the maximum amount payable to help with unexpected bills. So 80% is the maximum allowed, so $80,000. And so there's four different examples of how this rider would work, and that's all based on John's life expectancy. So on the blue column, you'll see the terminal illness. So he's terminally ill. He's not expected to live for more than 12 months. He wants to accelerate $80,000. In this case, the actuarial discount is going to be just, just a little over $3,000 plus that $100 admin fee. So the total cash benefit that he's going to receive would be $76,772, and he still has a $20,000 remaining death benefit. Now, for the chronic and the critical illness part of it, Remember, it is a, based on interest and their life expectancy. So the longer the life expectancy, the higher that charge is going to be. So if, in this case, John was, has a three-year life expectancy, he requested $80,000. We're going to take the three years multiplied by the Moody's Corporate Bond Yield. That's the interest rate. So in this case, it would be $21,500 plus the $100 admin fee. So he's going to receive a check for $58,400, and he still has his remaining $20,000 in um, a death benefit. Now, as you can see uh, on the next column, he has an eight-year life expectancy. That charge increased to $31,600. So, of course, his cash that he's going to get is less. And then the 15-year uh, again, that charge is getting it's getting pretty high, 51,300. So the amount that he's going to get is only 20, just over 28,000 dollars. Okay, so this is a great benefit for the client if they really, really need that money up front to help with these medical bills and or anything that they want to use it for. It doesn't have to be for medical bills, but I would definitely stress to the clients that. If they want to do that, they, they really should wait until maybe they have a three-year or, or a five-year life expectancy so that charge is not so high. But again, it gives the client options that they might not have with other policies, okay? Now, uh, the return of premium, let me give you some examples of what you could do with this return of premium. Um, it's available, as I mentioned, on a 20-year or the 30-year product. It returns all premiums paid and waived, including riders and policy fees. So the return of premium amounts, they will vary from year to year if the, if the policy is surrendered early, but it does give the client the option to choose a reduced paid up policy to age 100. So at the end of the term, the client would either choose one of two options. They can just have all of their premiums returned and surrender the policy take the money and run, basically. Or they can take that money and purchase a reduced face amount uh, paid up policy that's paid up until age 100. Here's an example of kind of how this, what this would look like. So this is an example of our WinFlex software illustration. So it'll show the monthly premium. Okay, It'll also show what the total cost is over 30 years. And it'll also tell them what amount is going to be returned to them at the end of the term. So in this case, almost $25,000. It will also tell them that for that almost $25,000, the reduced paid up term life insurance um, is a face amount of $61,759. So they'll know right up front what amount of money they're going to get back at the end of the term and what that amount can be uh, used to, uh, what face amount that amount can be uh, used to purchase. So it's really easy to explain. The illustration software really does a good job of that, but it also does a really good job on our mobile quote app. So here's an example of the mobile quote app that you can download to your phone. 
Um, it'll tell them what the monthly premium is or annually, semi-annually, however they want to pay. But it will also tell them in year 30, in this example at the end of the term, what the amount of the reduced paid up life insurance is going to be. So it's a very nice little tool um, which at a glance will give them a high level of what amount uh, their premiums are going to be and then what amount the uh, paid up insurance will be. This policy is great because it has a conversion privilege as well. You don't see this very often on simplified issue products. So it's convertible after policy year two through the lesser of the end of the term or the policy anniversary uh, following the insured 70th birthday. Um, they can convert all of the face amount to permanent coverage or part of it, whatever they want to do. Um, they can convert to our G Well Express or our Living Promise. And the nice thing is, is that commission is paid on the conversions. So it's 50% of new business compensation that's paid in policy years three through five, and 100% of new business compensation paid in policy year six plus. There's some nice marketing material um, for this particular product. Um, we also have some prospecting postcards um, that you can order if you'd like to order those. Those would all be um, available on our Sales Professional Access website. Now let's talk about Guaranteed Universal Life Express. This, this product is kind of unique in the industry. There's not very many Guaranteed Universal Life products that are on a simplified issue basis. It's very similar to Term Life Express, except that it's permanent coverage. So uh, it's available uh, minimum is 25,000 all the way up to 300,000 and then if they're between the ages of 51 to 65 it goes up to 250,000. The nice thing about this is that it, since it is universal life they can change the guarantee um, if they want uh, anywhere between age 80 and uh, age 120 and they can also um, short pay this, meaning that if they only want to pay their premiums for, say, 20 years, but they want their coverage to last them a lifetime, they can do that as well. The underwriting, it's almost identical to the Term Life Express. And there are some uh, cost riders that can be added to this as well. So there's a disability continuation of planned premium, disability waiver policy charges, accidental death benefit, and a dependent child's rider. There's also some no-cost riders, very similar to Term Life Express. There's an accelerated death benefit for terminal and chronic illness. There's a waiver of surrender charges for partial withdrawals and a guaranteed insurability rider. So why would you sell GUL Express? Well, a couple things. You can offer a solution that goes beyond a 30-year term. So if you be guaranteed to, you know, age 80, to age 90, age 100, age 120, uh, whatever the client is looking for, and it's affordable. So if you look at the premium compared to what a term coverage would be, um, for example, Term Life Express for a 20-year policy is $34. Um, if you look at the GUL Express, which has, a, you know, just in this example, a guaranteed for 40 years, um, it's $68. So um, the last column will show you what the increase in premium is over a 30-year term. But the nice thing about this is the premiums are guaranteed never to, to increase, and the coverage is guaranteed to last as long as they pay their premiums. Now I talked a little bit about short pay. So what this does is this illustrates um, what happens to the policy premiums if you short pay it, meaning you don't pay the premiums for the entire length of time that you have the policy, you pay it only for a certain amount of time. So let's say in this example, um, it's 100,000, the guarantee is to age 100, and the top row there shows if they just continue to pay their premiums 
until age 100, the premium would be $92. If they want to stop paying their premiums at age 90, um, the premiums are $94, so just a slight increase. If they want to stop paying their premiums at age 70, the premiums are $108. So that's just a little over $15 um, by uh, more than the level pay. But look at the total savings. This is what is uh, amazes me at the savings. By not paying those premiums um, for the entire length and short paying it by paying $15.60 more, stop paying your premiums at age 70, you're going to save $27,000 over the life of the policy. So that's a tremendous savings. And quite frankly, you know, who wants to continue to pay premiums when they're in retirement? Uh, most people are trying to reduce their monthly expenses. So this is a great way to do that, just, just short pay the policy and you can continue your coverage. Um, you can adjust the guaranteed period. So you can guarantee this to age 120 and you can see the premiums there is $236. If you just reduce that to age 100, that lowers the premium by 5.1%. If you uh, lower the guarantee to age 80, that lowers it 31.5%. So depending on what the clients want to do, they can certainly adjust the guaranteed period if they're concerned about the premiums. And maybe some people just don't have longevity in their life too. And so they just want to guarantee it to age 100. So that's definitely an option with this guaranteed express product. Um, this is a great alternative as well to a final expense. Um, for the people who are, you know, pretty healthy, um, if they're looking at just a $25,000 death benefit, you know, they can purchase our, our final expense or a GUL Express because the premiums are lower. Or if they're looking for a higher face amount than what we offer on the final expense plan, for example, $50,000, It'll show the premiums there of $184 per month. It does have the built-in, as I mentioned, terminal illness and chronic illness. Um, it doesn't have the critical illness like the Term Life Express, but it does have the chronic. And it works exactly the same as the Term Life Express. So here's just another example, very similar to what I showed you before. But in this case, let's say, that the client has a $200,000 GUL Express policy, and this client was diagnosed with lung cancer and he wants to accelerate. So the maximum that he can accelerate based on all accelerations is 80% of the policy base amount, so that would be $160,000. In this case, let's say that he wants to accelerate $100,000 out of the policy. The actuarial discount um, which we talked about before, in this case is going to be 13500 because he has a three-year life expectancy. So you take that discount rate multiplied by the life expectancy and then the flat charge of $100. So he's going to give a, get a lump sum check of $86,400. So in this case, what John wants to do with his money, um, he wants his wife to be able to take a leave of absence for work so 64000 is going to cover her salary for that year. And they take their family of four on a luxury vacation, um, which costs $22,000. And again, we don't care what he does with the money. They can do whatever he wants with it. And this is what John wants to do with it. So he does have a remaining face amount of $100,000. He can still accelerate $60,000 more thousand later on if he wants to. It just has to be at least one year later. And the nice thing about this, too, is that the premiums reduce to the new face amount of $100,000. So he's not continuing to pay premiums on $200,000. His premiums reduce to the premiums that need to be paid for a $100,000 policy. There's a guaranteed insurability rider with this. Um, it does give them the option to increase their face amount. Um, if they get married or if they adopt a child or have a child, and the third policy anniversary in every three years that, uh, thereafter. So that's nice because if they, they start off with, say, 100000 
and then they want to increase it later on as their circumstances change and they need more coverage, this is a great way to do that. And they don't have to go through underwriting. They just sign a piece of paper and we issue them more coverage. There is a waiver of surrender charges for partial withdrawals, um, also known as the liquidity rider. So if they want to withdraw funds from this policy, because it does build cash value, they can without incurring surrender charges. Um, if they're hospitalized or confined to a nursing home, if they're unemployed or become disabled, um, if they're faced with the death of a spouse or a dependent, they can just accelerate out of their policy and take that cash and there won't be any charges for that. Like the Term Life Express, we have some great marketing material out there for this product. Let's talk just a little bit more detail about simplified issue underwriting. So. Our underwriting model in the simplified issue world, um, the underwriter and the case manager, it's all one person. So it's, there's no handoff to different people. They work this case on a first in, first out basis. And we have a fabulous underwriting call center that can help with case status or missing requirements or just case questions. The simplified issue underwriting team um, instead of fully underwritten. So simplified issue, all the criteria that I showed you before versus a fully underwritten in which they get uh, blood draw, there's a attending physician statement, there's a lot more requirements. Simplified issue, we just look at the application, which is a yes, no. Again, we get we don't get any medical records or labs or exams. All we look at is the pharmacy report and the MIB report. And again, maybe a motor vehicle report and maybe a phone interview. It just depends on each case. The underwriting decisions, it's either approved, declined, or if we don't get all the requirements in, it'll be closed out as incomplete. We do have paper applications available as well as electronic application. Um, those applications can be found on our Sales Professional Access website. Um, just a few things to keep in mind that agents, they can't sign on behalf of the client if you're doing an e-app. And if it's a phone sale, they must use the e-app. Um, the e-app itself has an email signature built into it. Um, so you, the system will generate an email to the client to have them uh, sign the application. And please ask the questions of the proposed insured and not a spouse or other relative. And then we do look at the beneficiaries. Um, we want to make sure that they do have an insurable interest. So we limit the beneficiaries to a spouse, sibling, children's parents. Typically, we don't accept a friend as a uh, beneficiary. They can pay monthly on a bank draft, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. There's also the ab ability to do uh, a flexible payments. So what that means is that if they want their policy withdrawn on a specific day of the month, so for example, the second Tuesday of the month or the fifth, third Wednesday of the month, um, they can do that. Um, we just don't, and we don't accept money orders, cashier's checks, prepaid cards, or direct debit cards. For quoting, you can use our mobile quote app. All you need to do is go to uh, either Google Play or the App Store and search for Mutual of Omaha Quotes for Sales Professionals and do download that app. Um, you're going to see all of our life products out there, except for a few of the fully underwritten, like Index Universal Life. They're not out there, but all the rest of the products are out there. And I would definitely recommend just using the mobile quote app. It's the simplest and easiest way to get a quote. But you can also use our WinFlex software and get a full illustration if you want to. Um, you can get WinFlex from our Sales Professional Access website as well. All you do is go to download WinFlex software, and that's on the bottom left-hand corner of the home page when you first log into Sales Professional Access. The full illustrations, again, it will give you a nice presentation-style illustration to show your clients or the mobile quote app, it'll simply show you what the rates are for monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. 
The nice thing about the Mobile Quote app too is that you can set your preferences. So all you need to do is click uh, on the three lines that are in the upper right-hand corner and you can get to the settings by clicking user preferences. You can set a default state. You can reorder um, the uh, location of each particular product. So for example, if you always quote Term Life Express, just move that up to the top so it's easier to get to. And then our Living Promise, uh, excuse me, our IGO e app, it's available for Term Life Express, our Final Expense Children's Whole Life, and the Guaranteed Advantage. We're working on getting the e app updated uh, to quote, uh, excuse me, to take an application for GUL Express. So look for that to be coming hopefully this year. Um, it's, there's a lot of benefits to using the IGO e app. Um, the cases are submitted electronically to us, so they're secure and they're in good order um, because the system is not going to let you forget a field or um, submit it if there's something missing. Um, you will have the most current forms if you use the e-application because we update that continually to make sure all the forms are correct. Um, it does accelerate both the issue process and the payment process because it comes to us electronically. You can track your apps from start to finish. Um, you can validate your apps while you're still in the field, and you can choose multiple signature methods. You can sign, the client can sign face-to-face, -face, or the client can sign if you're doing a phone sale by using the email signature process. Now at Mutual of Omaha, we do have agent incentive trips. The trip for 2020 is to London, England, and you can qualify by selling our Simplified Issue Life products. The qualification period is January 1st through December 31st. Um, we require 80,000 in Simplified Issue Life production credits, and every credit is equal to $1 in annualized new business premium. So 80,000 in new business premium, and we'll take the top 60 producers to London, England. So the two products that I just talked about, GUL Express and Term Life Express, are products that would, could potentially earn you a trip to London. All right, with that, um, let me see if you do have any questions. If you want to type them in the chat bar, and we can go ahead and get those questions answered for you. Hey, Sandy, this is Kathy. You did a great job. Yeah. I do have one question, if you can explain this, and I apologize, everybody, I lost my voice again. So, MVR, you explained in the Term Life Express that ages 36 to 50, that that's not needed to pull an MVR unless you come across something. Can you explain that a little bit more? What are they looking for if a client actually has a bad driving record at that age? Are you guys going to find it, or what happens? Yeah, you know, we, we do look at that motor vehicle report for those younger ages for a specific reason. Um, we were seeing um, some uh, a lot of death claims because people were passing away due to motorcycle accidents, basically, and uh, those individuals typically had a, a poor motor vehicle driving record. And so that's what we're trying to get at is how, uh, you know, what is their driving record? Because we do want to make sure that, you know, that we're assessing the risk properly for those younger individuals. Okay, so if someone's between the ages of 36 and 50, automatically mm -hmm. you guys aren't going to pull the MVR on the term life? Yep, that, yeah, that's correct. We're not automatically going to um, pull the MVR on those unless we, if, if the person has, well, it's, it's really hard to determine the exact reason why they would do an MVR when it's um, a random MVR, um, okay. but there's something that they're looking for. Maybe uh, if there's a, 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 like a substance abuse, maybe they'll pull their motor vehicle report as well to see if there's any issues with their driving record. That's just one example. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure that we're not sitting in bad business that would be declined later down the road. 
Mm -hmm. If there's any more questions, nothing's popping up. Um, go ahead and you can also do the quotes for the Term Life Express at our webpage. And you can do the online um, IGO from our webpage as well. But if you have any questions, please feel, to call, please feel free to call my team, 800-365-8208. And the team extension is 3008. Sandy, I thank you so much for your help on this. And everybody okay, out there thanks. from Farmers, thank you yep. for being here today thank with you. us. Yep, thank you, Kathy, and I hope you get your voice back soon. Have a great thank day, you. everyone.